Welcome back to our channel. If you're passionate about India's defense, technology, and aerospace developments, you're in the right place. Today, we're asking a very interesting question. Why hasn't India bought the R-37M missile from Russia, even though it's one of the most powerful air-to-air -air missiles in the world? And how does it compare with India's very own homegrown Astra missile? Let's break it down. Russia reportedly offered the R-37M to India for possible integration on the Su-30MKI fighter jets. The R-37M is no ordinary missile. It's a long-range, hypersonic air-to-air -air missile, capable of hitting targets from 300 to 400 kilometers away. Designed to eliminate AWACS, refueling tankers, and strategic bombers, it can fly at speeds of up to Mach 6. With such capabilities, you'd think India would jump at the offer, right? But that hasn't happened. And here's why. One major reason is self-reliance and indigenization. India has been heavily investing in its Astra missile program, which is an indigenous beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile developed by DRDO. Instead of relying on foreign systems like the R-37M, India is now focused on Make in India defense production, especially for critical technologies like missiles. Let's compare the two. The R-37M is a heavyweight missile. It weighs around 510 kilograms, is over four meters long, and is designed primarily for targeting high-value, low-maneuverability targets like AWACS and tankers. Its massive range is impressive, but it's not ideal for dogfights or highly agile enemy fighters. On the other hand, the Astra missile is a lightweight, agile BVR missile with a range of 110 to 160 kilometers, depending on the variant. It's perfect for fighter-on-fighter -fighter combat, and it integrates seamlessly with the Su-30 MKI, Mirage 2000, and Tejas jets. The Astra MK-1 is already in service with the Indian Air Force, while Astra MK-2, with a range of 160 to 200 kilometers, is under advanced development. There are even plans for Astra MK-3, which could use a solid fuel-ducted ramjet, bringing performance closer to Western missiles like the Meteor. Another key point. Cost and logistics. The R-37M is an expensive and specialized weapon. It would require modifications to Indian aircraft, including changes in software, fire control systems, and flight testing. Integrating it on the Su-30 MKI is possible. Russia already does it, but it's complex and time-consuming. Astra, being indigenous, is cheaper, scalable, and already compatible with India's combat fleet. Plus, India has full control over its production, upgrades, and export potential. So the decision not to buy the R-37M isn't about rejecting advanced technology. It's about strategic autonomy, smart defense spending, and building long-term capability. Sure, the R-37M has unmatched range. But in a real-world dogfight scenario, India is better served by having more Astra missiles integrated across its fleet than a few long-range ones that are expensive and limited in use. In conclusion, India is betting on its own missile ecosystem. The Astra series may not yet match the R-37M in raw range, but it's evolving fast, and most importantly, it's Indian. What do you think? Should India still consider a small batch of R-37Ms for special missions? Or stick to building the Astra family into a world-class missile program? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cutting-edge defense content.